God just sent the word in you that allows you to just smile in the midst of your storm and allow you to have a big old laugh even when problems are surrounding you. Yeah. Is anybody here that feel like that? Ever been there before? They say, I don't even know what's funny, but God just went good to me. Spirit all week. It's just, it's just a few words that he brought on me this past Sunday. And the words were just saying, don't give up the fight. Yeah, yeah. And I was saying, God, what, what does that mean? Yeah. Sometimes when you go through, you have to be able to deal with difficult situations. Yeah. And when you're faced with them, you can't break down and start crying. God said, you got to be able to handle me through the mountain experiences as well as the valley low experiences. Turn the Bibles with me if you don't mind to Matthew 5. And I'm going to preach. And I promise I'm trying the best I can because some of us have not grown to this point yet. But hopefully after today we can reach that point that we can grow up yes, sir. and stop holding animosity in our hearts. We got some people in church that's still holding stuff from 1988. Wow. 2008. God says it's time for you to let it go. One thing I know about flying and taking flight is the way that they have designed the aircraft to carry a certain amount of weight in order to fly. And if the flight is too heavy, it's not able to manage the weight that's on the flight. Yeah. It's some things gonna have to be removed in order to take this flight. Yes, sir. So I don't want you to get up. It's the fifth Sunday. I'm gonna let you relax because I'm, I'm we didn't shower and I don't worship. But here it is. We got to learn how to let go. Matthew five. I'm gonna start at five and three. Attitudes. It says, Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs kingdom is the heaven. kingdom of heaven. Blessed and happy are those who mourn, they for they shall be comforted. Mm -hmm. Blessed are the meek, for they shall inherit the earth. Blessed and fortunate and happy and spiritually prosperous are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they shall be completely satisfied. All right. Blessed are the merciful, for they shall obtain mercy. Yes. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see God. Mm -hmm. Blessed are the makers and the maintainers of peace, mm -hmm. for they shall be called sons of God. Yes, Lord. I want to use for a subject, I'm going to stop right there. Jesus was teaching Beatitude. his disciples. Beatitudes. And he had to inevitably tell them. How to be blessed. So I want to use for a subject today. Do you have an attitude worth blessing? Right. Do you have an attitude worth blessing? All right. It's something about grown folks that bothers me. I'm glad. I'm glad my sister-in-law came in. Got y'all ready because this is a serious sermon. Mm -hmm. 
All right. Take your so time. Worshiping, worshiping. Take your time. So good. Touch me. I mean, I mean, the girl got up here and just took over on glad. But, but, but it's something about holy folks that bothers me because the simple thing that can cause you to be blessed is your attitude. Uh -huh. yeah. I had experience a couple of weeks. I know a young lady. She said, look, I lost my job, blah, 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 blah. And I was looking for an attitude to be messed up. And guess what? Her attitude stayed positive. Yeah, yeah, Even yeah. in the midst of all that that she was experiencing. Uh -huh. Now, never no doubt, depression probably tried to see me. Uh -huh. yeah. But her attitude on the outside said, God, I'm going to humble myself. God, I'm going to keep going. I'm going to keep putting in application because I know that you're able to make a way when there's no other way. Yeah. Yeah. And, and never, never mind the fact that, that she had to go through this, but, but folk, folk be looking for stuff, but because of her attitude. Uh -huh. can, can, can I tell y'all this real fast? Uh -huh. Folks have been calling her for interviews, y'all are hearing me? Because her attitude stayed positive. And, and, and what I love about God is that sometimes the people of God cannot handle to be blessed because their attitudes are so messed up. Uh -huh. Your attitude will determine your altitude. Come on, somebody. If you only really knew how to behave in your attitude, let somebody that's wrong say, fix your face. Jesus, come to somebody. He promised us uh, some good stuff. Uh -huh. He said in his Bible, he said, I'll never leave you nor forsake you. But see, a lot of people don't understand is that he also promised that we will get offended. Yeah, all right. Oh, y'all don't have no church for real. The older you are, the more offended you become. Uh -huh. That's just life. Because yeah. stuff that used to didn't bother you, now all of a sudden, it, it bothers you. Uh -huh. I remember it didn't bother me to go in somewhere and the music was loud and smoke was blowing. I was in there just going. But now I go somewhere like that and I can hardly breathe. Look like I need a gas mask to be in there here in the church. Now it bothers me. But, but, but here it is. We, we got more people that are trying to grow in church. But they cannot grow because their attitudes are so messed up. And the reason that their attitudes are so messed up is because of the stuff that they carry with them. All your little church. You can't come to church and expect the pastor to preach the hell out of you when you've been carrying hell for 18 years straight. You can't expect the pastor to preach order in your life when you go home every day to an hour on a situation. How in the world are you trying to the church? I want all the Jesus. I love God, but you go home every day. Come on now. To an out of situation. Uh -huh. Can you really stand to even be blessed yeah. with the attitude that you can? And sometimes we we are learning, but but in every area that God has blessed us with, there's a taking and a lack. All right. Every card that is developed has an exhaust system built in it because it's able to get rid of the bad air that comes through the motor. Oh, y'all have a church for real. And every time that we inhale, we can exhale. And when you stop inhaling and exhaling, some of us is wrong. Y'all have a church. We take in fluids and we take in food and there has to be a way to get them out of us. Yeah. So why do you think that you're able to hoard spiritual feelings, call somebody, and feelings on the inside of your heart to, and think that it's not going to get clogged up and burst one day? Y'all All right. All right. have no church for real. Look at the neighbor's neighbor. Let it go, let it go. The, the thing is that, that we build up the thing in our body is called stress. Stress, yes, sir. Because we're not functioning properly. Uh -huh. Somebody hurt us, we just hold it in until the next time we see them. Right, right, right. Something that's bothering us, we rather talk all around it than talk to it. Yes, yeah, somebody. Right. But, but the thing is that, that we have to be able to be able to let go and 
elevated like God. The only way that we're ever going to be elevated in the body of Christ and elevated in our prayer life and elevated in our faith life if we're able to allow some stuff to just go. All right. Look at somebody that says, it's time for you to just let go. Some stuff we have to outgrow. That's right. And, and I'm learning because uh, I notice that the people want better jobs and they want better pay. See, I've been in the workforce for a little minute and I'm noticing that the people that get paid the most money are problem solver people. Yeah, yeah. Uh, y'all want to check for me? All right, all right. Folk, folk, uh, and I'm right, Sister Brown, that right? Okay. Right. We got any top dogs in here? Maybe not. Okay, okay. Yeah. I'm, I'm talking to some people. See, the lower you are on the job, the less you have to deal with. See, even on, on my job, I'm learning now on my job. Um, I, I want to get paid a lot, but, but but we can't start our treatment on the people until a registered nurse enters the building yeah. because she is the problem solver. Yeah. Y'all having the church here for us. I can't get paid what she made because she handles the issues that I have. That was a lot. Yeah. Uh, in other words, what I'm trying to tell you is, is that the more that you grow in Jesus Christ, uh, yeah. the more I wish I had just two people that would mind say, I'm ready to grow. So if you're ready to grow, you got to be ready for some issues, some attacks to come on you, some folks that lie on you, some folks that talk about you, yes, some folks that say you did, some, some yes, folks that make up some folks that make up stories. Look at your man and say, neighbor, are you really ready for elevation? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here it is. We are afraid to do the real issues that we face. I have a church for real. And, and, and he developed another bird that I can't live without called the chicken. Yeah. Oh, Lord, help me. Yeah. Holy Ghost. I think about that chicken, I get a little weak sometimes. Yeah, Lord. <laughs> That's one bird that I just can't. I, mean, I can do without the robin. I can do without the cardinal. But Lord, not the chicken. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. Had a moment. Okay, yeah, you know, here, but, but the chicken, two things that differentiate these two birds. See, a chicken is just for his name is like. He don't fly. Just very little. Because he eats what's on the ground in front of him. It could be dirt, waste, other folks' mess. Help somebody. And, 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 and inevitably, because of what he eats, keeps him from sowing with the eagles. Yeah, yeah, come on, But an eagle don't eat what's below him. That's all right. He don't bother with other for less. Uh -huh. He soars to the highest of the highest. And he eats what he had nested and had to put up there so he can eat it. Hey, an eagle is so smart that they don't even intertwine with other animals, other birds at all because they fly so high. Eagles even make love in the sky. Yeah. Oh, y'all didn't know that, did you? Because the eagle can't afford to get hooked up with a chicken on the ground. That's somebody. I said, God, why did you make the eagles like that? He said, look, the eagle can't be sitting around making with a chicken. They got to be able to make with somebody that's ready to fly with them. Yeah. Oh. You can't be tied up in a relationship with folks that eat on the ground. You got to be able to get with the eagles. Yeah. Here it is. Eagles don't even mingle with folks. Oh, help me somebody. My granddaddy was the blackest somebody I knew for a long time. But I, I swear, every holiday, he would say, look, I'm white, and you know I'm white. Yeah. I said, why do you want to be white so bad? He said, because white is right. You know, old folks had that saying. But really what he was trying to say was that I don't want to live uh, with the rest of the chickens on the ground. Come on, somebody. I want to be better, come on, somebody, than what I was yesterday. Uh, I don't want to just eat what's before me. I want to get up and learn how to fly. 
die like an eagle. Look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, it's time to lose the chicken mentality. I spoke to my wife last night. I said, look, baby, look I really think that you're an eagle. She said, where are you going with this? I said, I really think you're an eagle. But the thing is, you can't be an eagle with a chicken's mentality. Yes, sir. That's it. You can't grow with a chicken mentality. Look at all these people around us. Uh, you're too anointed to be wearing the way that you are. Uh, you are too awesome to be sitting up putting up with Negroes. You ain't got no business putting up with. You are too powerful to be that king. You are too rich to be that broker. You are too well to be that sick. Uh, look at your name and your name. Said, Lord, it is something that we have to be able to learn how to do. Uh, God said, We gotta stop flocking with the chickens because that ain't where it's at. Uh, look at your neighbor, say, Neighbor, uh, we gotta let the chickens alone. Uh, if you wanna be a chicken, go ahead and be a chicken. Uh, but I don't wanna talk to a few people today uh, that said, Pastor, you're talking to me because uh, I'm ready to go further. Uh, I'm ready to go higher. Uh, I need to get my mentality together.
and say it's your attitude right to be blessed. Uh, somebody else, look at somebody else. Hey, look at your right uh, Say it's your attitude uh, right to be blessed. Uh, it's the way that you talk for uh, blessing. Uh, it's the way that you walk for uh, reflection. Uh, it's the way that you uh, speak your words for uh, blessing. Uh, it's the way that you uh, trust the Lord uh, for blessing. Uh, it's the way that you're faithful. Uh,
except for y'all still. That's fine. But for the next 30 seconds, I need you to do me a favor. I need you to bless God in this place, so, for somebody else. So, 